What is up, you sexy beasts? I've got 60 kgs on the bar. That can only mean one of two things. We're doing Grace or we're doing Isabel. We're doing Isabel today. I've got an exciting video for you. We're gonna talk about why Annie Thoris daughter is gonna win the CrossFit Games this year. And then we're gonna put not one, but two beginner CrossFitters through Isabel. We've got my man Sam, who you've met on the vlog, and we also have my buddy Cookie coming along. So two beginners, they're gonna have a go at Isabel after me, but uh, it's time for me. So I'm gonna hit record on my Wattproof app. Oh, here we go, we're on, we're on. Sam. Oh, that's one. That's two. Oh, that was not good on the wrist. Mm. It's up five minutes. How does Noah Olsen do that tap and go unbroken? Makes zero, zero seams. Guys, I've got someone, uh, got someone here on the FaceTime. What's going on, Shane? You want to hey, say? Uh, just, I'm just running a little bit behind, but I've um, I've chucked the active shades on, so I'm at least not held back by a lack of uh, aerodynamic efficiency. If that makes uh, if that makes sense. I'm flying. I'm in a 40 zone, and I'm doing 175 kilometers an hour. I'm just going to be eating my chocolate lamington while these boys do Isabel, you know? See that uh, that marked out area right there? Might be a sauna coming this week. Let's go. The Olympic lifts used to be one of my favorite things to coach when I owned my CrossFit box. I'm pretty excited to uh, to get the uh, coaching hat back on and teach these boys how to snatch well. Uh, 342, that is 12 minutes late. 12 times 10, that's 120 burpees. Um, no, 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 let me, no. <laughs> let me just hold it right there. Whose is this? Yeah, mine, who took it? Who needed it back today? <laughs> this guy, yeah. Who gave me these glasses? Yeah, I did. To make you faster, to get, get you here earlier. And what's the shape of them? Tell me now why the shape is the way they are. It's meant to be aerodynamic, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it doesn't seem very aerodynamic. Look at that, guys. It's all my fault, guys. It's all my fault, eh? It's There's only so fault. much a man can do. <laughs> and who gives them to me uncleaned as well? HMD sponsorships are getting worse. Can you explain to the blog, what does HMD stand for? Oh. Because you're always talking about this HMD sponsorship. I don't know what that is. H, HMD is, it stands for hand me down. Okay. Hand, you can figure it out. Yeah, hand me um, down sponsorship. So, look, it's complicated. Normally people are sponsored by the brands directly. Yeah. But no one knows talent like talent. That's true. So when someone with talent mm -hmm. notices talent, the sponsorship they have directly from the brand, they can hand down. <laughs> that makes sense. And I'm known as, I'm actually known as the world's first HMD fully sponsored athlete. There you Which, go. Look at this. Look at this. No, that's not look at this. Brother. This was actually real. <laughs> This was real from the Torian. This was given to me. I said, are you drunk? Do you know who I am? Is that what you're saying? This is, no. Well, here's, this is the thing. Everything's got to be inappropriate, doesn't it? Look at this. You tell me, remove either the circles or the X's and tell me what you're looking at. Come on, Koski. Clean your act up. Look at this. Unless we're playing on a AFL oval today, this makes no sense. <laughs> okay, that's not cross the spot with my, with my diagram. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, so those are in fact your feet. That's what they are, their feet. And all we can do is drive your knees forward and out. Right now. And just pause the bottom for me. So when you're there, I want your weight to be just in front of the 
halfway mark. So if you cut your foot in half, your weight should just be in front slightly. The torso doesn't tip forward so as you do it, the torso stays upright and you go knees forwards and out. So it's basically loading your quads. Just keep your hips through, hips back, like there, yeah. And the quads will be on, so turn these on. That's the last position you hit. The last position you hit before you jump and shrug. It's called high hang. You're gonna wait for your chest to get out of the way of the bar. The quads are now loaded, chest is back out of the way of the bar. Now I can nearly drive up. Get that bar moving in a straight line on my chest. Has he paid his membership? <laughs> Shoulders spin back there. Shoulders spin back right back. Yeah. So roll, roll your fingers around your thumbs. It's called the hook grip. Yeah, that's the non-negotiable. Cool. Okay. Now, See, why not nice? Cool. Now from here, I want you to shift the weight back towards your heels as you drop down. Bring the bar to the top of your knee. The bar's going to be just above the knee. Just above the knee there, yeah. Hammy should be on and the weight's yeah. back on the heels now, towards the heels. Not all around the heels, so you still want your toes connected. Just on the other side of the halfway mark. Now, slowly come up and see if you can find that high that position again. Yeah. And then you're going to go down to the hand. Ooh. So you can drive that knees back a bit more. Drive knees back. Yeah, really get those hammies firing. Knees back. Yeah, yeah really hang Ooh. on those hamstrings. Yeah. Ooh. Let's start there. Drag the bar through the high hang and then snatch. Yeah. You're going to drop down and catch it. I know you're thinking about a million things. Huh? Oh, it's hard, man. Yeah. Have you ever done that? What is? Is that just a safety thing, or? So it's like a self-tightening system. So if your thumb should tighten in your hand, okay, it feels awkward to start with, but it's yeah, it's worth doing for the long term. Yeah, yeah. We're trying to keep that back angle the same. That's right. Thinking too much time yeah. in the clubs. The whole time. The Can't exactly. get away from the stripper yeah. lift. Yeah. Right. Oh, God knows, I don't have that problem. Slow from the ground. Fast from the knees. So you go slow from the ground, don't rush apart. You can speed up on the knees up. Slow and fast. Yeah. So you're pretty much winding it up. You're starting slow and this ramps up as you get higher. Don't do that today. No. So we're, doing, we're doing power snatch today. Slow to the knees. Fast from the up. Yeah. There you That's go. Your boy. I like that. Ready? No, we're not ready. So pull yourself down a bit more. Yeah, that's good, huh? Mm. Yeah, so don't be lazy in the sit up, especially doing 30 reps. Okay. You'll end up just grabbing the bar like this. You've got to sit up on each one. <sighs> yeah, get out of it. Sorry. That's it, stripper boy. Bro, that was way better. Was that all right? Yeah, just a little stamp in the feet, resulting in a much stronger elbow. He's laughing at me, but a genuine question. Is it frowned upon to wear gloves? Because my hands, I don't know if you can see that, it's not frowned upon, but you might get a few comments. Meow. <laughs> People can't do that these days. That's catist. No. no. Shaming cats. No, just say whatever you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the most nervous I've been. Look at these nails. I mean, I've realized that on my way to training, I bite my nails. Three, two, one, let's go. He's on. That's one, baby. That's Nice and clean. Let's go. Nice and clean. That's 30. 328, buddy. 328, let's go. I'll find you, Isabel. Okay, and three, two, one, and he's on. That's one. Good snap. Three minutes flat. Look at that. What a time. Three minutes flat, bro. Ooh. It's more of a thumb workout. Mm. Yeah, Proud of you, bro. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got the Fran cough. <laughs> it's come back. So that's, I reckon that's, is that five weeks for us? It's five. six, I think it's week six. This is week six. We've done five weeks of at least three a week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, some Saturdays. This man's getting fit and strong and he's learning stuff. I love you, coach. My love for you grows every week. <laughs> On the hug. We've got 
Nigel doing low rows, Sam in the ice bath, Cookie on the air bike. It's pretty much a CrossFit affiliate, you know, I should just pay my affiliation fees and affiliate the, uh, the garage box. Oh man, I just can't get enough of it, eh? The newbies to CrossFit. So much fun coaching again and just watching them experience just all the goodness that is CrossFit. Okay, let's get to today's topic of discussion, which is why I think Annie Thoris daughter is going to win the 2023 CrossFit Games. Mr. Brian Spin from the Barbell Spin has put together these two great leaderboards, top 25 leaderboards, based on polls that he's run. Now, the first leaderboard is polls that have been um, completed by media personalities or analysts in the space, and uh, he's taken the results from each analyst's results, and he's kind of merged them to create this uh, top 25. Then he's got a fan top 25, where fans like yourself can complete the poll um, or rank the top 25, and based on all the results, collated again, another leaderboard. So there's a leaderboard based of these media personalities or analysts, and then there's a leaderboard based on the fans' results. And I am taking part in the July one, which is still coming out. So I was completing my top 25, and I saw Annie's name there, and I thought, man, something in my gut just tells me that this year she is going to win. I don't think people realize that in 2021, she came back her first year after having a baby. She came third at her semifinal and then third at the CrossFit Games. That very same year after the CrossFit Games, she went to the Rogue Invitational and she was leading the field, which included Tia Toomey, leading the field all the way up to the last day and then Toomey just surpassed her on the very last day. And I remember seeing an interview or like a chat with Matt Fraser, just in the car park actually. If I can find the clip, I'll include it here. No, 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 no. I'm happy with the weekend. It was like the event before as well. Could have been a little bit better for me and that would have made it even closer for us. But it was, it was fun. I just hope the girls realize that they can take her down. I know you root for her and I root for her too. But it's not healthy for anyone to be at the top for too long. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna take as many. Man. I'm feeling good. <laughs> oh, don't, not, not, not to be corny at it, but like just watching watching your career. Like I've watched Thank it from you. day one. Yeah. And and like it's one thing to like be successful early, early on, but then to be able to adapt and like get better as the competition continues getting better. I seriously and then don't never know mind, and then, how this is happening. And then never mind like, having having a fucking kid in the middle of it. Yeah. And then coming back and like like arguably like you're the best you or I mean no it's not arguably like you're the best I you've the ever best been. I've ever been, yeah. And where she just talks about how the girls just have to believe that Tia is beatable. And she talks of this conviction that you can just tell that she knows and really truly believes that Tia can be beaten. Now obviously this year we don't have Tia and we also don't have Mel and personally I believe those two are untouchable but I do believe that Annie's going to win this year because she was on this upwards tra trajectory, I always struggle with that word, trajectory, um, in 2021 coming third of the games, second at Rogue and then I was fully expecting her to go individual in last year in 2022 and then obviously she went team. Now, after her team season, she went back to Rogue and came second again. And then this year at her regional or her semi, she came second again, just behind Gabby Magawa. If you look at her stats and you look at Laura Horvath's stats, they are very similar over the last two or three years. But Annie is a past champion. She's had two championships already. And so I think she's got a lot less pressure on her than Laura Horvath. Laura has come second a couple of times. She's been so close. And I feel like there's a lot more pressure on her, a lot more expectation to win. And she does have that one hole that we all are aware of, um, the deficit strict handstand push-up thing. If that comes up, you know, on the last couple of days, it's going to be trouble for her. So I truly believe that this year... Oh, and Annie is getting on. She's 33 years old, still very young. But I wouldn't be surprised if she's, you know, thinking about retirement. Obviously, Laura's um, a lot younger, has a lot more opportunity to come. Um, but let's say this is Annie's last year. She's going to come out all guns blazing, not a whole lot of pressure. And uh, I think it's a recipe for success. So that's my call. Annie Thoris daughter, 2023 CrossFit Games champ. I want to know what you think down below. I know that a lot of people are rating Daniel Brandon very high. And I do think that she's the most athletic out there. I just don't know if she quite has it up here yet. I don't know DB at all. I'm just going off what I've seen on the field and who knows, she may have done a lot of work uh, when it comes to a mental game over the last year or so, but I'm just not sure she has it up here. Same with Emma Lawson, an amazing athlete, so athletic, but 
I wonder if she lacks that kind of savage fight that someone like Emma Carey, I feel, has. Um, so my top three this year at the CrossFit Games on the ladies' side is Annie Thoris' daughter, Laura Horvath, Emma Carey. Then Gabby Magawa, and then DB in fifth, I think I had her. So uh, anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there today. But I want to know what you think. So let me know down in the comments. Give Sam and Cookie some love for doing their very first Isabel. And uh, man, I cannot wait for the CrossFit Games. We're two weeks away. I fly to Vermont next Tuesday to go and hang out with the HWPO crew. And uh, it's going to be wild. Okay, my crew. Okay, my crew. Are you serious? Okay, my tribe. You stay sexy. Keep roaring love. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.